Hey guys, guys. I'm, I'm Danielle, Danielle and I'm Marjan. You were right. One, two, three. Come on, stop messing around. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Hey, hey guys, guys, I'm Danielle. I'm Marjan. And together we're the best friends to make moves back together. together. This like, why they don't, why they don't give no chips and salsa? What you looking at? Where's your toe at? What do you no. mean, where's my toe? I didn't see it for a second. Okay. Well, then y'all just got through yelling at me, so that's why I'm a little bummed out. Anyway, we got, and excuse my crust. Today, I, I really, I can't find it in me to give a crap. I'm crusty, I'm sorry. I'm about to dig in. We got some, some burritos. Yeah, they, and like she said, they crusty, and I give them those little tortilla chips with this. Mine is nice and fat. Even though I took everything out of it, but my dad's so yeah, we digging in. Fuck you. They got pico de gallo. No effing pickle day. I, I fucking hate that shit. Tastes like pickles in my fucking burrito. <laughs> we waited in line for damn near 30 minutes just for them to get that shit wrong. It's fucking frustrating. I don't know what it is, but this pickle that guy shit really be tasting like medicine to me. <gasps> uh oh. -uh. I don't know how long that's gonna stay, but we just gonna have to keep replying, we applying it, and keep on falling. But my shit got people that got on this on pit. It's not that bad. It's horrible to me. All you bitches saying, oh, she's still eating it though. Yeah, your mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? I'm pissed off. My shit tastes like medicine. And I'm not going back to no damn 30 minute line. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat my burrito, so. Now this thing like guacamole, I'ma lose my shit. Mm. It kind of tastes like. Tastes like it's like they cleaned the grill or something before they made this one. And well, it, they should have kept it dirty because it needs some flavor. And it tastes like um yeah, cleaner or some or metal or something. I, I really can't tell you what it tastes like. Just some eating today. Mm -hmm. Anyways, how y'all doing today? You should have got the all meat burrito. What's that? It's all meat. Mm -hmm. I know he has that. Oh, I know they ain't got to worry about my ass coming back if they're going to be doing this medicine shit. Yeah, oh. Oh. I mean, I can't shit. It's a free world. Bring what up? I was going to bring up somebody telling them, telling them that I praise white people. But you know what? You said it in the live yesterday. Everybody don't watch the live. 
unless the punk ass bitches were watching live and ain't said nothing. But um, I mean, if you think I praise white people, so be it. I'm, I'm gonna let you believe what you want to believe. Go ahead, go wild with your imagination, ho. up and down they know me better than I know myself but all right this is hot fresh off the grill ain't that a song Cadillac grills, my Cadillac steel. Oh, won't you check out my Cadillac grills? I think that's when I'm thinking about. That's ludicrous. <laughs> Did you get mine and I got yours? That's what I'm thinking. Because you're like, I don't think you're that guy. No, I do. You're supposed to be what? Anything? Oh, I don't know. I have no clue. Is the avocado at the bottom? Of what? Of the burrito. This one? Yeah. Or is it mm -hmm. supposed to be in here? It's supposed to be avocado in there. Do I have avocado in here? Not that I see. Mm -hmm. My mind got so much meat, meat. Yeah, mine's my, called my, my rice. You ever got rice? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's supposed to have, but I, I should get it separate or something because I could have sworn. I don't know. I don't know. Well, too late. I ate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Um, I heard you was gay for a second. <laughs> mm, I like Charlie's better. Mm -hmm. Very subpar. What's that mean? I oh, don't know. I just said it. Mediocre, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's hot in here. That's a big word. It's like some charred. Um, my bad. I'm so Please sorry. Get that off of me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please get that off of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dio. My bad. There's some charred meat in here. That's the best part of this burrito. say on here I can't say so um Now they think we hiding this big ass secret from them. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. There's something we can't talk about. Hmm. 
I might have to tell Claudia though. Claudia what? When she come out here? What the fuck are you looking at? Ugly like bitch. Tell her what? About what we can't say on camera? Why? I don't know, just a bit. That's you. I, I don't do that. I know. <laughs> Not bent, but I don't know. So about my business? I don't about my business. All my business. I can tell y'all a lot more, but I don't. You now y'all think I got this huge secret life that y'all don't know about. Y'all know majority of it. Believe me. Not, <laughs> like 75%. It ain't nothing they don't know. The hell? It's definitely stuff they don't know. Like what? If I tell it, they gonna know you stupid ass. Oh no! Uh -uh. Not with these hoodlums gonna be here hanging out the window. Uh -uh. Oops, he heard that. Stupid, lace it up in work. Girl. Don't come up over here doing no weird shit, weird ass boy. Hmm. Why that one hanging out the window like that? I don't know. I guess he can't breathe. We don't got nothing to talk about. We got a hell of a lot to talk about. We just can't say it. I mean, we could say. I don't know why we even extra, but we, we could not say it. One thing we can talk about though is mm. <laughs> y'all do know everything, I guess. We didn't have to live yesterday and and, and they know everything. <gasps> uh, you mean not everything? It ain't nothing else to know. Somebody hit us when we were hit the sitting at the light. That's not that exciting though. That was yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, homegirl was on her phone. She was on her phone. I was stopped at the light, paying attention. And she just kept on going and just bugged me. And I'm like, first of all, I was like, I hope my car not effed up because going through insurance and going through the car repair shop, that's just like a whole hell of a lot of process that I never want to go through in my life again. And then when I got on and just saw a scratch, I was just like, well, I was about to be like, just go ahead, girl. Like, it ain't even that deep. And then I was like, just get her information just in case. And I still got to call the insurance people, so I got to call them tomorrow just to report it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell you to get it just in case. Yeah, you said You said to call them just in case or something. Uh, yeah, I said call them just in case. I don't know. Because we don't know nothing about cars. I don't know if it did anything mechanical when we left the scene, so... I mean, it's all good. Ain't nothing wrong. But I'm just saying, like, I guess it's important to give people's information and stuff. Thank God she stopped and had insurance. But, um, yeah, she was trying to give me cash. And to me, I just feel like, I don't know. If I'm not about to sit here and try to take nobody's last coin, especially if I don't know how much this is about to be. And, like, well, too, I'm not about to take people's last coin. And cause I know how it's like to be struggling or whatever. And two, I'm not about to just take cash for then somebody be leaving me somewhere, being like, oh, well I gave her cash and then the, the them just come out to morning what she gave me, you know what I'm saying? So I rather leave the situation alone and if I do, I just hit her up or something wrong. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that happened. So don't text and drive, even if you thinking you stop me. Just be careful. Cause I would've been pissed if my shit was fucked up. Anyways, but yeah, just don't text and drive, and you never know. Like, damn, you it's just like, like a lot of people we've been seeing crazy driving lately, and it ain't me. Like, you know, like the other day, this car that had a baby on board sticker sped around us like he was about to tip over his Prius. Like, if you don't come to F now, I know that baby up in there rocking back and forth. He was weaving in and out 
out of traffic for a while. Traffic. Not like we would stop there and like it was a clear night. No, it's traffic. And you driving all reckless. I don't care if you got a baby on board or not. Stop driving like that. Like, that's crazy. Come on now. Like, if you're going to injure somebody's life, do it to yourself. Don't do it to other people that don't do nothing to you. That's messed up. If you drunk, don't drive. Like, it ain't that hard. You can stay your ass in the street for all I care. But don't be driving. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like that'd be irritating me. And then knowing how much you spend on a car, how much people gotta put in their cars and insurance and stuff like that, it's like, damn, you have a little more respect. Like, just don't drive crazy. <clears throat> but yesterday, yeah, she was on the phone. So, homegirl, if you watching this, stay the fuck off the phone. You hmm. would have never bumped me. But it's, you know, whatever. People be on full. People be thinking it's just young people that be on the phone. No, this old man almost ran me off the road because he was on his phone texting. And I know he was old because he had them text at like three words per screen. So it was zoomed in. But sir, you could pull over and do that. Don't be texting and driving. I laid on my horn. And I told his old ass to get off the phone. That's somebody's life. The hell? Ain't nothing that serious. I'm thirsty as hell. You thirsty and I'm bubbly, so. Oh, oh! He got an acid stain on his booty. Shut up. What you mean? It was oh, probably shit. some dookie. Dang. Oh, it's trash right here. He got an acid stain on his drawers, which means his boo boo probably burned through his, his drawers. And you must really be comfortable around your bros if you like having your dangling around them like that and your ass cheeks out. I said what I said. I said what I said. The second of the the, the, the pants is just not attractive. You do what you want to do, but I don't want to see your ass crack with them doo stains in it. That's disgusting. I couldn't deal, deal without that you know. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. I just need something to push you down. You need to get something to drink. Vlog time, y'all. We right here at McDonald's. <clears throat> there you go. You hate these vlogs? No. I don't care. I was going to change my clothes, but I don't want these hoodlums coming after me. I mean, change my, um, my uncle sandals. I got some uncle sandals for work, and they're extra comfortable, but they definitely ugly as hell. Put a trash can there. Perfect. 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 Because we don't litter around here. Anymore at least. Can I back all the way up? Two large Diet Cokes. You said two large Cokes? Yeah, Diet Cokes. Okay, anything? That'll be it. That's good, thank you. Thank you. I got it. You cut in that far. It's you know? Huh. Anybody coming? Not that I can see of. You should pass my old job just for the no. effort. Pass your old job? Mm -hmm. Way back yonder, way back yonder. I ain't seen that John since I quit. <laughs> Apparently, even go down that way. Nah, don't go down that way. What are we gonna drive way down there for? Nothing. I ain't going down there. I do want to go back and say hi to my friend though, Miss Vicky, because she, you know, she was chill. Okay. Mm hmm. She was like the mom of the job, and I was so happy to leave. I forgot to tell her bye. You got her number? No, I don't. Um, I got Tia's number though. So I'm probably gonna hear her up. Damn, I'm just putting all your business out there, but y'all family, y'all know. They close? Oh. What, Paniski? That place that got some good breakfast. 
Well, clearly, you ain't, ain't got to be good breakfast if you ain't been there in a while, then, yeah. Um, COVID happened, Marjan. Ooh! Restaurants was closed. Silly you. <laughs> Thank y'all if y'all still here. Yeah, we extra strong. We the sun's not as pretty. Look, look. No, but D, look at that. Look at that. Get oh, that sunset. So Get that cute. sunset. Get that shit off your camera. That's, yeah. that's your window. Don't even play. That's your window. D, yeah, you really got me in 4K. <laughs> oh. I didn't put lotion on my legs either. And I'm wearing shorts. I'm not ashy though. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna tell you again. Get your shoes out of here tonight. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh oh. Daniel, you understand me? Daniel, you heard me? I don't speak your language. You agree. Oh, my butt crack is on. If y'all still watching this, um, give me some advice, all right? So, for what? There's this little boy, not a little boy. There's this guy, yeah. And I, he keep texting me, and I keep ignoring him. We were supposed to hang out. He texted me that day. I, I ignored him. I just wasn't feeling it. I could have been like, oh, I, I just don't feel it. I don't, I don't want to talk to you no more, yeah. But I just, it just, it's just so awkward. Like, why am I breaking up with you if we're not dating? Me not responding is a response. Correct? So what am I supposed to do? He texted me on Saturday, or, yeah, on Saturday, and then he texted me today. I didn't even open them. I mean, she won't listen to me, so I ain't about to put my two cents in. What? I already told you. Tell me what? I already told you. To me. block them? Yes. It's literally, it's that hard. I can Because at this point, you just dragging him off for nothing. Me, personally, when I'm in that situation, if someone won't leave me alone, I get to a point where I let them do something so messed up. Not messed up to me, but just irritate me to the point like, when I had to block that one guy, when he kept on acting like a little baby, like I was supposed to ask him for his, like, uh, for Valentine's Day or whatever. Then, we hung out like, one last time, and then I was just like, I was over it. Like, I was just, I was over it. So then, <laughs> he hit me up, or he said something, like, he was just like, nobody wants to go out with me and all this stuff. And he, like, trying to, like, pretty much say subliminal things online. First of all, no, I don't do well with that. Like, I feel like, yeah, we in L.A., but I feel like sometimes guys be like, oh, well, you know, I can get away with this because everybody gossips here and all this stuff. But to me, that's not a man. Like, if you have something to say, say it to my face. Huh? I don't know. I just don't like that feeling. Like, I don't know. I just didn't like it. So, I started to back off, and he started hitting me up like, no. like, oh. He started hitting me up like, what's she going through right now? He hit me up so many times to the point I blocked his number, blocked him on social media everywhere. He hit me up on his uh, his home his um work phone number. That was the last straw for me. I was like, ain't nobody. I'm not that. I might be that hypnotizing, but let's go ahead and chill back. You messed up, and I'm off of you. Like when I'm done, I'm done. Blocked his ass, and then he asked for an explanation. Boom, there's an explanation. Now I let it out, laid it online for him. Like ain't nothing to it. If you. I just feel like either you be honest or lie 
and say you got somebody or you don't want to hang out with no more or just block them. You don't own nothing. Or in your case, if he didn't do nothing to you and you just kind of outgrew him, you try to let it fade away though. That's when, yeah, your phone number is deleted, blocked. It's not that hard. I don't know. That's just me. I don't know. Anyways, um, I like them boots. I guess that's the end of this. So I don't know, y'all. Tell her what to do. I don't know. So I feel like it's literally going nowhere. So why not just? I mean, he could, you could, he could be blocked now. He want to know it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you ain't say nothing. True. And if you are that gotta be doing that stuff, man, take a hint. Damn, take a hint. It's two genders in this world. I'm sure you're gonna find somebody. It's just not in. It's not. It's not working. God dang. And they be saying girls be catching feelings too easily. I must not be a girl then, cause I don't catch it. I don't catch feelings like that. He said one guy chomping up on, on uh, like a uh, uh, act, talking about he want to be in a relationship and all this stuff. And I was okay. I was a little gullible. Tried to meet up with him twice. The third time, I was like, no. Who was this? The one that had the fetish of, for big girls. Oh. And didn't, didn't tell me until like two weeks in talking. I was like, you just wasted two weeks of my time. Now you really ain't got no chance. No, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. So now your loss. Your loss. But I don't really know what to tell you. I say just, yeah, block. That's all you really could do. And if you don't want to. Whoa! That was a rat. Where did it come from, though? Where? It ran into those bushes. It ran from. Oh, oh my. It's so dirty around here. It's a hole right there on, on, on the side, on the little curb. Yeah. And then it, it ran from out of there and ran into it. Oh, my God. I just know it's Chuck E. Cheese around here. Earlier, I was, I was around the corner my from my house itchy. dropping off a grub order. And then it was a um, trash truck. <laughs> it was a trash truck in front of me. And when it put down the trash can, a, 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 a mouse, I, I guess it was a mouse, it fell from the truck. And it was just sitting in the street. And I was like, please move. I could, cause I didn't want to hit it, you know? Oh, I would have. <laughs> But then I didn't want it to like climb up into my car or something, so I didn't. You um, ran it over. No, I didn't run it oh. over. I I just politely went around it, but I don't know where it went at that point. It was it was right in front of the girl's house too. I was like, damn. I don't know where it's at. It ain't my business. One time, I kind of forgot that squirrels can't fly. I feel bad for the little guy, but he I like I was going. I'm like, yeah, he gonna move. I no. hit I two squirrels before. Yeah, I I thought he was going to move. I thought he was going to move, but little guy did not move. And then boom. The first one I hit, he he, he was running across the street. And then, and then he going to turn back. So then I'm like, I can't really stop, you know? So I, so I just had to hit him. I usually try to make an effort to go around animals. But one time I didn't make an effort to go around an animal with a possum. I wanted to see that mother trucker die. And when I knew I went over him, it was a wrap. I was like, well, I hope he gone now. He was going all right. Not dead, but, but he was gone. <laughs> yeah, he was gone. Right? He wasn't in my car. We thought he was. We were going to call the fire department and everything. That mother trucker left fast, too. But I didn't hesitate. I was like, that is disgusting. Disgusting. Mm. You need my some. vaccine itching. I don't know what's this going on. Maybe y'all shouldn't get it. I have an allergic reaction. My itch too. Still? 
Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the other day, my, my arm was hurting right here. I was like, I know I, people I, watching this. Like, I, I, I know, know you fucking love. I know people watching this saying, that's all it took. I ain't got to get mine now. Uh -huh. That Y'all be the guinea pig. Duh. Yeah, it's healing itching the hell out of me. Huh. Anyways, that's our video. You need some some advice? Um, No, she don't. Cause I'm pretty, I'm I'm doing pretty good swinging it. Swinging what? If I decide I want to talk to somebody, I give them a little hey. That's I just, it. I just meant um some advice in general. Oh, some it doesn't advice have to in be general. No boy, man, thing. Um. Okay, advice in general. Advice in general. How the hell are we gonna get to 15k overnight? Cause this little this little snag me shit. We we cause we gotta stop fucking filming at night. I don't even want to watch it. I'm sorry. But these be the funniest ones. That's why I'll be like, will she add a vlog to it or something? I feel like we, that's the least we could do. We can't really control the, 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 the time that we got to film now. It's either get this money or let YouTube build up. I need money while YouTube build up. So we're gonna have to, that's how we figure it out. I don't know. But we're going to get it together. Every time we tell y'all stick around, we always come through. So... Come through, come through. You know we got things to do. You know we got things to do, so get your ass in the car, come through. Oh, what's he mad for? Why? What's his purpose in life? He just took down a whole stand from the stone. For no reason. I'm sure that's been the last thing. But you know, that's a normal day for us, so we really ain't tripping. It ain't our sign. What's in there? A damn, that's a damn nice ass dry cleaner. Oh. Long to man, but yeah, y'all, that's all. That's it. Ain't really got nothing to show now. Then you're gonna say bye. I already, I've been said bye. Oh, so you hate me? Shut up, Danielle. Do you hate me or not? Shut up, yes or no? Say it, or I'm gonna think it's yes. Bye. You, wow, so you do hate me. Oh, <laughs> my